Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series. This is not a series on postmodernism. In this video, we're going to be combining with dumbfounding definitions, Disney distinctions, and diabolical doctrines, a series sorting through some of the jargon of philosophy, to look at one last term in postmodernism. Specifically, we're going to be looking at what is the problem of reinscription. Now, a central feature of postmodern art is the use of satire exaggerating a position or character in order to mock or critique it. One problem that arises with satire has deep connections to the issues addressed by postmodernism writ large, the problem of reinscription. The problem of reinscription occurs when a satirical depiction of a position or character is viewed by the audience not as satirical, but as authentic. So, a common example of this is the American television program, The Colbert Report, not the current show that Stephen Colbert has, but the previous one on Comedy Central. In this show, Stephen Colbert played a character satirizing far-right television hosts. The purpose of the show was to expose the absurdity of these far-right hosts, but in reality, many conservative viewers took Colbert's performance as sincere. Their beliefs were not challenged, as the program intended, rather they were reinforced. This is the problem of reinscription, satire reinforcing instead of challenging beliefs. A famous piece of performance art called The Couple in the Cage, which we will cover in our video on postmodern performance, had similar issues of the audience interpreting satire sincerely. It's a fascinating story. We'll, we'll look into it more, though, in that video. So what does this have to do with postmodernism, though? Well, reinscription features in postmodernism in a number of ways. Satire is common to postmodern art, but so is the possibility of multiple interpretations of a single piece of art, as well as the fact that the interpretation of a piece of art is dependent upon the background beliefs of the audience, not the intentions of the author. Satirical portrayals of things that were already poor representations of reality are certainly hyperreal simulacra. If you have a satirical portrayal of something such as a far-right news host, who is already a poor representation of reality, you have a representation of a representation, something that is hyperreal. Postmodernism highlights the fact that people can take the same information and arrive at different conclusions, based on the meta narratives that they subscribe to. If you hold on to your meta narratives hard enough, you can come to interpret even satire of those meta narratives as support. The postmodernists do not claim that this is a good thing, that people often do not realize that satire is satirizing them, or that this is the way that things should be. Rather, they're simply pointing out that this does occur, that it appears that people interpret things that are satirizing them as supporting their views. They interpret things that are critical of their views as, well, this is actually evidence for my position. Satire can reinforce the very beliefs it is attempting to mock. And satire does this more than other situations because if you don't understand that something is satire, it can be taken sincerely and earnestly. What do you think? Are there instances of reinscription that you have encountered? Is satire a problematic method for critiquing beliefs, since it can easily be misinterpreted by those who hold too tightly to their background beliefs? Or, on the other hand, is it an effective method for critique in oppressive regimes where outright criticism is banned and satirical criticism can be played off to the censors as a honest or sincere acceptance of the position, but to dissenters as a way to undermine or critique the regime. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe if you like this content and you're interested in more. We have a whole big 14-part series on postmodernism that is going on right now, so hit that notification bell if you want to hear when we put out a new video, and make sure you don't miss it. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.